Yes, we do say blessed love. And of course, we give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life. Give thanks for your presence with us. And um, we are still in the vibes of the celebration of the feast of the Passover. And definitely this settings here, we will be keeping that energy. I will be definitely reading from a documentation. I'll be reading from a pamphlet that was not too long given to me. And of course, I'll be going into that with the energy and the vibration of the season. And as I said, being that of the feast of the Passover on the 10th of December for those who would not know. So blessed love family again, give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life. Emperor Haile Selassie the first, of course, you're here in the tiger's nest, the honorable priest Isaac here with you. And as I said, what I'll be getting into right now, I'll be going into the reading of a, a, a pamphlet that was passed to I, and this was given to I by the Honorable uh, Priest Harry Kerr. And I must say, I give thanks for the strength. Although I have not, I have yet to sit down with the Honorable Priest Harry. Although I'm yet to sit down with the Honorable Priest Harry, I must say that the Honorable Priest has definitely kept close contact with I and would continually, at least from time to time, pass on information for us to look at and even to share. So I must give thanks for that because, you know, they're, they're, they're ones that even when you mention the honorable priest, they're not even pleased, you know, and, and yet they themselves are not coming forward you know, to deliver their information. Because remember, I am, I, I do consider myself an elder in this. Area. And a lot of the things that are to be spoken of, I have no, I, you know, I don't know. You know, and they're ones that have been there firsthand and they do know. And um, give thanks for those who come forward and those who, you know, who, who, you know, come into the tiger's nursery. And, um, one way or the other. So I give thanks to the Honorable Priest for the information that we're going to share. As I said, for whatever reason, when I share such, there are those who are not pleased. And let me be clear, I'm not speaking of the Honorable Priest, um, my Lord, the Honorable Priest Adigan at all. In fact, I respect the Honorable Priest for he himself, he, he clearly came out you know, I mean, and, and in front of the world and said, hey, listen, I don't agree with what that man saying there. And he gave his point. So I respect that. Well, who I talking about is them ones that behind the door. You know, I mean, when they see the grinning, you know, he, 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 he. And, and behind the door, they have this and that to say. It's a real dread thing, yeah? I know sometimes I bring these things up, but I'm just talking reality. So we're going to get into a very interesting document that the honorable priest passed to me but before i go there i just need to highlight to all you know all the followers all the listeners all the good ones you know well we're having another special you know the second of january is my earth strong so we will be having a very special day on radio anu for the second of january all right so right now we are on the shop page for the institute that's priestisaacinstitute.com priestisaacinstitute.com the link is in the description below this video if you do not know when you come into the shop you could get all of our books all of our documentaries you i mean everything is there but what i'm highlighting today is our international homeschool program. Now, I want you to listen to this family. I think everyone knows about our international homeschool program. Um, if you don't know, yes, we do have a homeschool program, really, that is set in a way that we are offering two, pro, um, two subject areas, pardon me for the moment, which is astronomy and African history and heritage. You know, in the future, all of this will expand but that is what we are offering for now. 
astronomy and African history. One of the reasons why we attacked that first and not like maths and English and these things is because these are the things that are lacking in the school curriculum. So even if you have a child in the school curriculum, I'm almost sure they ain't getting no astronomy and no African history and heritage. They may get a Martin Luther King and a Ma and Nelson Mandela, you know, but I know they ain't not getting no heavy astronomy, maybe a twinkle, twinkle little star, but how far can that carry? So what I'm saying is, so, you know, we offer that homeschool program. It's a program that will last approximately 10 months. What it is, we deliver the, the program every day, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. These are the days and every day we specifically send out the, the classes. So it's like a daily class every day, the child will get the next class. You understand? And we have projects that we ask them to do nothing too overbearing. And it's very exciting. It's myself and my honorable prince and honorable princess. You know, the literature, we have literature that comes with it. Like for example, this, the, the children uh, of the sun, my first solo book. That is one of the children books that comes with it, as well as this wonderful book here, the great kings and queens of Africa, you know, put together by those of us here at the Priest Isaacs Institute, myself and the young ones, princess and the prince. And what I'm saying is now, when you order the international homeschool eh, before the 2nd of January, what is so special about the 2nd of January? I just said that that is going to be a very special day. The 2nd of January, as I said, the 2nd of January specifically will be my Earth Day. And we're going to have a wonderful celebration right here. On, on the Priest Isaacs Institute of Holistic Knowledge, specifically um, Radio Anu. So when you order the the uh, when you order the the the, the international homeschool uh, for this before the second of January, so you order it today, or you order it tomorrow, or whenever. Once you order it before the second of January. We will give to you. Listen to this family. This is something else. I know you're watching Priest Prophet Daniel's chalice. Everybody always say Priest Daniel by mistake. Prophet Daniel, maybe, <laughs> maybe the priest would right there for you, man. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, watch this. Now this is the Tiger's Nest official T-shirt. Of course, you know all the T-shirts and the shirts are designed by the Honorable Prince Almasi. You know at least those that are being displayed at the moment. Listen, man, you, you see the value of it down here? Now, that is a good price, $35. I'm telling you, family, if you order the International Home School, the full year's package, because you can get it in the monthly package, like you pay $30 a month, or you could get the whole year for $200. If you order the international homeschool package for your young ones i am telling you we will give you a tiger's nest t-shirt this is absolutely free of course and this must be done before the second of january at least that is when the special will be expired so i think that is an extremely good good vibes when they really look at it i mean for sure that is something really blessed and i mean the the international homeschool program alone is already on a special much more as we are celebrating our earth day this is a part of it so you could just consider that our gift to you for our earth day once you patronize and you take up that international homeschool class. So definitely looking forward, you know what to do. Just visit the website. Here we are, priestisaacinstitute.com. You go in the shop region, you know, you could purchase from right here, the international homeschool. Any problem, any mix up, you could just email us, priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com. And of course, everything will go through smooth. Yeah, man, so we definitely give thanks for the life giver and the keeper of life. All right. Now. As I said. We'll be going.
going through some information right now. This says the conquering lion shall break every chain. Ethiopia Royal Nation Wealth Kingdom, Ethiopia Poor People National International Freedom League Government, Melchizedek Righteous Kingdom, Black Supremacy Government for the Poor and Have Nots, United Black Wealth Sovereign Nation, the Lord of Hosts, the I Am, the I Am, Repatriation Internationally, the Fifth Kingdom of Justice, Stand for Equality and Justice for All People, Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress Church of Salvation, the Sabbath to be kept holy, Freedom Redemption International Repatriation, the Poor People Government Internationally through Human Rights, Black Congress, a King of Salem, uh, the Poor People. Pardon me. The people above all kingdoms, stand governmental, parliamental, churchical, and sabbatical. Formerly at 54B Spanish Town Road, now headquarters, 10 miles, Bull Bay, P.O. St. Andrew, Jamaica. All right. And this letter was written to the Honorable Melese Zenawe. Zenawe which is the former president and prime minister of Ethiopia. This was written on the 1st of February, 1992-93, Transitional Government Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Of course, coming from the Honorable King Emmanuel Charles Edwards. And it says here, Honorable President, greetings in the name of the blessed life giver, the God of Ethiopia. Give thanks for the centenary of our father, Emperor Haile Selassie I, that passed through on the 23rd of July, 1992. Also, the 105th anniversary of our prophet, Honorable Marcus Masai Gabi. Give thanks also for our Royal Ethiopian Christ Mass of the January the 7th and our upcoming new year of February the 7th. As you should know, Honorable President, there are representatives of my church, the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, currently in Addis Ababa on a gospel bell mission 
to establish our church. I have to come in here. You see what kind of mission the father said that they are? Remember, we just spoke about that. What is your duty as Rastafari? To spread the gospel, four wings. As you should know, honorable president, there are representatives from my church. The Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress currently in Addis Ababa on a gospel bell mission hmm, to establish our church. I have learned that the immigration authority wants to deport them out of the country. I have sent several letters and documents to your government, which outline my program. Hmm. Therefore, I want to know why this has been done. Furthermore, I do not feel justified about the way in which my vice president, Honorable Priest Harry Kerr, was forced out of the country, even though his papers were in order. I want to know who gave the head of immigration the authority to handle the king's representatives in such a matter. I must say that, uh, you 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 would recall i hope that we actually did a a, a a a program where we presented an audio of the very same priest harry um, as i said even when i presented it really you know, it wasn't by his permission it was a, it was a recording that has gotten around so i just decided to to play it and uh the honorable priest, if I'm not mistaken, from his response to me was that he didn't even realize that one's recorded that. But if I'm not mistaken for what I read from his um, response to me. So all of what was said in that program there and with the flag coming down and, and all of these different things, this is the time frame he was speaking of and when they were deported to Kenya, et cetera, et cetera. So it is saying here, furthermore, I do not feel justified about the way in which my vice president, Honorable Priest Harry Kern, was forced out of the country, even though his papers were in order. I want to know who gave the head of immigration the authority to handle the king's representatives in such a manner. Hmm. Interesting. Anyone who is in the country causing trouble does not come under my portfolio, portfolio and was not sent by me. There are three among my representatives who should be sent out. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> King Manuel is saying there are three among my representatives who should be sent out. They are Priest Trevor Denton, Priest Rudolph Bailey, and Priest Ronald Richards. Each of them has moved out of principle. Okay, that's interesting. However, I do not want those who are moving right to be mixed up with those who are moving wrong. Hmm. Therefore, the rest must remain and my vice president must be allowed back into the country. I, King Emmanuel Jacob Abraham, you hear that name there? I, King Emmanuel Jacob Abraham, because this is not a joke. Eh? There was a time when King Emmanuel, according to what I've learned from the elders, there were certain interruptions that were coming, you know, with the United Nations responses to King Emmanuel Charles Edwards. So King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, say what? I'm going to change my name to King Emmanuel Jacob Abraham. 
And from my understanding from the elders, as I was there, letters would start to come to the man in that name, King Emmanuel, Jacob Abraham. Interesting, you know? So the man is King Emmanuel, Jacob Abraham. And I must say, the first time I learned of that, I, I, I said to myself, interesting, Jacob and Abraham, they, 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 there's an interesting name that's missing from that, you know, Jacob and Abraham, Abraham, Jacob. Uh, but anyway, I, King Emmanuel, Jacob, Abraham, the same King Emmanuel, Charles Edwards, met Emperor Haile Selassie I in 1966 when he visited Jamaica, where he appointed me as ambassador and head of his mission with the responsibility to gather all righteous, all royal Ethiopian sons and daughters who have been scattered in the West because of slavery. At that time, the king declared that the same people he left in Ethiopia are the same people he came down and saw in Jamaica. And we are blood brothers and sisters. He went further to say that there are vast amount of land in Ethiopia for us to come and inherit as citizens. Interesting, eh? Emperor Haile Selassie I has now instructed you and your cabinet to give I and my church whatever we want, knowing that Ethiopia belongs to every black man and woman. Therefore, I do not know what is the problem why immigration want to turn us out. For 17 years, Ethiopia has suffered from war, brutality, and oppression because the people turned their back on the king and now that he is returning to build back his kingdom and restore peace and love, he is being turned out. I am the king's ambassador. Therefore, when I speak, it is he who is speaking. And I say, you should move out all those who oppose the king's mission of the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, formerly headquartered at 54B Spanish Town Road, Kingston, and presently at 10 Miles Bulbe, St. Andrew, Jamaica, West Indies, of which I am founder, leader, high priest, president, God, and king. I have full authority to carry out such mission as representative of the Organization of African Unity and the United Nations on whose roster no one is worthy to take off or put on my name without my permission. What I have done in this country of Jamaica, no one else has done. In 1948-49, while I was working at Up Park Camp Military, I went and visited the Brigadier General at his office to, to, to get I and my people's repatriation to uh, Ethiopia, Africa. Yes. However, he ran out of the office, leaving I there in charge of Jamaica and all British West Indies, even the entire British crown head. And, and if you, the, the, there's more detail to that because but according to protocol, as the Brigadier General of the Army, eh, family? that's the Army's ruler. And if he just get up and leave his office, by right, you're not supposed to leave your office and leave another man in your office. That's not you, you know, on them official, you know, status there, you know. Not, this is not like the cleaner or anything, you know, even the cleaner one, if you can leave the cleaner in there. But what I'm saying is the fact that he just jump up and run out, you know, is very symbolic. And as, as, as a military man, King Emmanuel is showing well, you know what I mean? His, his whole gesture really, you know what I mean? Gave him power over, over the army. Really. In 1950, on the 6th of June, I unveiled the flags of the red, gold, and green, and the red, black, and green in, in the House of Representatives, causing the house to be closed down for three days. You, you, you know about that? Yeah. Causing the house to be the House of Representatives, eh? causing the house to be closed down for three days. Again, in 1951, I raised the same flags at King's House, where Governor Hugh Foote was headquartered, you see? So even the same King's House, even before the King go and meet the King, 
the, the banners of right already rise there some 16, 15 years before that, 15 years before that, the banners of, of justice done flying that yard, King's House, eh? the Governor General House. I also manifested myself with power to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth in 1966 at King's House when she visited Jamaica. I sent to her the flags of the red, gold, and green, the red, black, and green, along with the black flag. These were in, enclosed along with the black flag. Eh? These were enclosed with a red, white, and blue pouch, in a red, white, and blue pouch. When the queen unveiled such emblems, she and all her ministers present bowed to such um, churchical and statical flags and the black nation wealth kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, she then declared that there is an individual man in this land, in this country, who no one should molest for in time to come, which is now, he shall be Lord over her laws, man said, which is now. I beseech you, honorable sir, to listen keenly and consciously to what I am saying to you at this moment. For black man and woman, royal Ethiopian sons and daughters, the Bill of Rights must be considered now through Article 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. All human beings are born free and equal. I call firstly upon Britain, then America, the United Nations, Canada, New Zealand, Spain, Portugal, the Organization of African Unity, straight to Jamaica, to return all slave children under their own vine and fig tree through fundamental freedom, redemption, and international repatriation and transportation of seven, nine, or 30 miles of high water ships with the Royal House of Gods and, and dignified Ethiopian sons and daughters who are coming home now should not pay any money from out of our pockets through any migration scheme. The heads of hosts, repeated, the heads of government who brought us here, such as Queen Elizabeth and her hosts, and those who are still holding us down as ransom and hostage should be the ones to pay for our passage to come in. No more migration or taxation. The world must come back as the free world that Christ created under the covenant of the red, gold, and green, the red, black, and green flags containing the symbols of the black five-point star, the R and lion symbol. We demand that all commonwealth come out of, the, out of Ethiopia, Africa, for Ethiopia is not commonwealth, but a royal nation wealth, government, and crown head. Therefore, all commonwealth flags must be taken down and cast out. I say again that the red must be on top of the Ethiopian flag. Get out all turned down red, for it was the white European world led by Queen Victoria that came into Ethiopia and turned the flag upside down and called it federal, which represents South Africa, Britain, America, Jamaica, and all who take part with them to oppress Ethiopia, Africa. Every flagpole in Ethiopia, Africa must fly the flags of the red, the gold, and green, the red, the black, and green, to show that the continent of Ethiopia, Africa is coming back to independence uh, uh, and world power. I ask you, honorable president, to correct the injustice that has been done to my vice president and bring back uh, into the, and bring him back into the country to continue the work of the king, along with honorable priest uh, Albert, this this is mixed. This is a little type over. Honorable Priest Percival Spence, and um, we have Honorable Priest Clive Dowers, Honorable Priest Ferdinand um, Forsyth, Honorable Priest Paul 
uh, Pang, Honorable Prophet Jacob Abuna, and Honorable Prophet Shedra Prang or Pang. Uh, also those who I see fit to be sent in. I hope to meet you all soon, but not before the Western prison doors are open and all slave children are set free and sent home through freedom, redemption, and international repatriation. In the meantime, I'm asking you to grant to my church members free passage to Ethiopia in order to come in and restore unity, peace, and love. I am asking you to seek out from former Jamaican Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Hugh Shearer, about documents of repatriation that he received from the United Nations from Secretary General Uten, Days and uh, General Uten, Days and Emperor Haile Selassie I, Days. General Uten Days and Emperor Haile Selassie I. I don't know if that's a type over. Let him declare what he has done with them before the world court. It is he who has sabotaged my works from 1967 when he was ambassador to the United Nations, even to when he became prime minister and minister of foreign affairs, along with his junior minister at that time, Senator Aswal Hardin. Mr. President, my delegates currently residing there in Addis Ababa have had the opportunity to meet with uh, Miss Michael, Miss Michael C. Neblin, Neblin, Sweden's ambassador to Ethiopia and the general manager of Ethiopian Shipping Lines Corporation and held deliberation on the unsettled issue of fundamental freedom, redemption, and international repatriation. Therefore, these two royal angels are willing to facilitate I, Honorable King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, and my government and people with at least one ship in respect to my repatriation network, if you give them permission to do so. I was commissioned by His Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie I to bring repatriation to realization by retrieving the Black House of Israelite Ethiopian royal sons and daughters from out of slavery to Ethiopia, Africa. Hence, Mr. President, I'm requesting you please to grant them the authorization on behalf of us your blood brothers and sisters to assist us with the ships to come up to, to, to I, King Emmanuel Charles Edwards government here in Jamaica. I await a speedy uh, response out of your office to my office at 10 Miles Bull Bay uh, Post Office, uh, St. Andrew, Jamaica, West Indies. Uh, God bless you. To fulfill these words, Ethiopia must return to one love and unity. All guns should re remain 3,000 miles from the king's palace and from the shores of Ethiopia, Africa. For Ethiopia is not a gun country. It is a our kingdom of righteousness. X voting and marking X for a government is wrong universally. And my royal house of King David royal sons and daughters send a whole heart of love unto you and your administration one love stands and that is the love of christ and moses one love hang all the laws and commandments of the prophets peace and love i am the most right honorable king emmanuel charles edwards brother moses the lord's servant black christ in flesh Ethiopia Royal Ambassador of the Mission of the King, Crown Champion of Human Rights, Human Justice, President General of the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, Church of True Salvation, INRII Migas, Rule Israelite, Holy Emmanuel I, Silasia, Ja, Rastafari. So we definitely give thanks, family for such 
word sound there coming directly from the Honorable King Emmanuel Charles Edwards and um, definitely being very clear on certain points and that, that we don't even need to go through again and getting a good idea of exactly what was happening in that little capsule of time there as it relates to the information. And I know a few things some people would scrutinize and, and try to critique as well, as far as certain information there. You know, there was a video that we did and uh, it was with Bongo Watu when he was in Ethiopia and he was having a little discourse with the honorable priest Paul. And in the discourse, one of the points that Bongo Watu, Elder Rasboni as I speak of, brought up was that when he, you know, they were really getting heated about when he visited Bobo Hill and he couldn't see King Emmanuel. And, and you know, he was highly offended, really, as Bongo Watu. I mean, he, you know, okay, he know the man. He said, like, he can't believe now he's checking the man, what kind of big thing the man going on. <laughs> and anyway, you know, but one of the points he brought out in the reasoning, he was saying now, to priest Paul that, uh, um, you know, should they telling him about the, the flag and they couldn't turn, the flag had to turn up, the red had to up and so and so. And he's showing them, but man, this is I Majesty flag, man. What the I them telling me? It's like I Majesty flag. So Bongo, what you said? That the bread in them is telling him that is, is Queen Victoria give them that flag there? And, and, and he couldn't, he, Bongo, what he couldn't understand what a man talking about. How Queen Victoria give Ethiopia flag? Were you, you crazy man? That that's the impression that he was giving there. So, and, and I mean, we have to be honest with these things, you know, and be clear because the impression that the honorable priest Paul was giving is that, well, listen, man, he he can't tell you what the brother them tell him, you know. Um, that that's basically what he was saying, and he, you know, I mean. He and what the man them say, that's up to what they say. But the reality is that is a part of Bobo Shanti culture. You know that I know priest Paul here that already, for sure. Uh, maybe in strategically speaking to the elder, he just didn't want to go down the road because you see a lot of these things is not just so you bring it out and you, you know, you definitely, you know, you just take it up and try to argue it out. Things cannot be settled in argument. Eh? People try to settle things while they're arguing. No, things have to be settled with sensible conversation. We did a whole lecture on what I'm talking about already. Um, it was done about two years ago. Um, I think the lecture is right here on YouTube. It's about, is, is the red supposed to be up or down in the Ethiopian flag? Something of the sort. But if you type that in and type my name in, it will come up. It's a very, I think it was a very um, scholarly presentation and we went into history with our sources. Check it out. You know, um, it's just like a person can reference a book and say, man, you need to read this book. Well, I'm telling you, you need to go back in the YouTube channel and check the video we did on the Ethiopian flag. You know, just type it in, Ethiopian flag, red up, red down, something like that, and my name and the video will come up. The picture on the front of the video is like, about 15 different Ethiopian flags. The vast majority of them had the red up. It's only recently it turned with the red down. Eh? I'm not talking guess. People like to guess and say, oh, when Ethiopia go to war, they turn the red up. I've been hearing that for a while. You know, um, I'm dealing with facts. You know, even the flag as you know it now, the banner, it wasn't even all of that. It was even just colors, but the red was always on top. Even when you check the ancient artwork for that, that you have in the same Christian tradition, artwork from a thousand years ago, the background always has the colors of the red, gold, and green. The red has always been up. So in reality, this has nothing to do with which faction of Rastafari you are and Bobo and Bingy, right? I'm just talking as a historian and as a student and being honest that the, the, um, it's just not too long prior to Menelik time, the banner got turned around as far as our historical review. 
There was also a book that was written by a Bobo Shanti. I can't remember his name. I think the Honorable uh, Prophet Alim either prefaced the book or forwarded the book. I cannot remember, but um, it, it was a book that the Honorable Priest Blyden introduced me to. Uh, and I, I think I would have glimpsed it some other place before, but you know how it is. But for sure, I really took note of it under the, the guidance of the Honorable Priest Blyden. And that book also, a little simple book, you know, but it gives you a good understanding of where the Ethiopian flag is coming from. Remember, Ethiopia is an independent country for how long, you know? So it's not like the Ghanaian flag or the Zimbabwean flag or the Ugandan flag, these new flags. It is a banner from a long time, you know, from an ancient time. And the reality is that it used to fly up. Now, you may argue that, well, there's a reason why it's flying the other way because the emperor come now and such and such, and that's how the emperor wanted. That's, I mean, that's up for discussion. That's theory, that's your, you know, outlook on it. But I'm just giving you the history of it. And the history is that the red was up. That's just a fact, not war and peace. The red was up. It was a rainbow banner until not too long ago. Now, and that's a fact, eh? That is a fact. Now, you see, because we are Rastafari, it sounds very crude. It sounds crude when a man says, man is Victoria Fly. Because the first time I hear that, this is exactly what the priest said. Man is Victoria Fly down in Ethiopia and turn down the red. Just so I heard it. So, you know, so the mind was like, not King Emmanuel. And the next priest told me something. So I was like, what? Queen Victoria Fly down in Ethiopia. How would that work? You understand, but when you understand geopolitics, you, you start to look at things differently. And you see, that is why you believe it or not, there are races right now that are not Bobo Shanti who are doing their research. You know what I mean? I can call names on my bridge in Ras Mike, Bingy Mike. Everybody know Bingy Mike. I did a, a, an interview with Bingy Mike. Remember, Bingy Mike was trying to say that is England and so who crowned the king. They have some races with this theology. Why they get that idea? Okay, remember we're doing a lecture, you know, Haile Selassie, Rastafari, and Freemasonry. And I always tell people, it's not, it's not just what you know. Knowledge is good, but understanding is better. Because a lot of our knowledge that we have is not wrong knowledge, but because we don't understand what we know, we fall off the cliff. So, so yes, you're right. Um, Haile Selassie was awarded a lot of different, you know, Victorian cross and the cross of whoever and the, the order of what it, what the killer there in the Congo name again, Leopold. Leopold and them fellas there. This is knowledge, but some of us don't understand the knowledge and we just lose it. You know what I mean? And say, so, what? You see the kind of title the man get? It's England give him these titles and so, for example, when the king was crowning, the courage that the king used was that of uh, Wilhelm II uh, from Germany. That's the courage. Someone take issue with that. Why the king have to use a, a European maniac's courage? <laughs> you understand? But again, knowledge and understanding is two different things. I could tell you that for sure. So, and, and this is a part of the teachings family. You know, it makes you calm and very, you know, balanced when you decide and make proper decisions in the things that you quote unquote feed your mind and the things you tend to believe and the things you tend to go along with. You understand when you definitely take your time and do your research. So I and I know as Boba Shanti for sure, that is why we stand with the original covenant. We see it as the original covenant, the red up. You know, you shine a light through the spectrum, the red is always up. The rainbow, the red is always up. Or one may say, hey, but I've seen rainbow with the red down. I agree too. But that's a reflection of the rainbow that with, with the red up. You know, it is. You only see the rainbow with the red down. When you when there's a bright, bright rainbow with the red up. So the two rainbows, rainbows do appear. They, they both appear and they're both valid, you know. But it's, you know, it's just deep, deep, deep science for us to go in. But still. I think really the, the whole essence of this document really is that, um, and give thanks to the Honorable Priest Harry for it, 
Interesting that this document mentions him as the vice president. And um, interesting, you know, you, well, anyway, I'll leave it at that. The document in, uh, mentioned him as the vice president. And clearly, at least to the writing of this document, and this is 92, 93, you know, the Honorable King Emmanuel was definitely um, adamant that the Honorable Priest should return to Ethiopia. And there were some priests that were there that should not leave. And he even mentioned some, you know, that he believed left out of the principle that he gave them to go in. And he asked that they return back to him. So all of that is right here in the letter, something for us to feast upon. And I just give thanks to the black Christ in flesh, you know, because, you know, this is what you call the God of justice, any which way you turn it. Yes, Rastafari, I live forevermore. Most high, Selassie, I. Ja, Rastafari. So yes, family. So we are reminding you since we just mentioned it also, of course, remember the, the coming through the whole Hagmas, Hagmas season there. <laughs> we'll be having three dynamic lectures, the 22nd, the 23rd, and this one here on the 26th. Haile Selassie, Rastafari, and Freemasonry. This is the, the online lecture series, three dynamic online lectures. There are three dynamic online lectures. Again, that means for sure, all you have to do is contact us. And, and of course, you will get your ticket. Of course, we are talking about fairy tale holidays and nursery crimes. That's the 22nd day of December. That's a Wednesday. And we have the Santa Claus massacre, total annihilation. That's the 23rd, that's the Thursday, all, all both lectures back to back, mm -hmm. $20 each lecture, plus even the, the lecture, uh, Rastafari, Haile Selassie and Freemasonry also $20, but that one will be on Boxing Day, Boxing them down, that will be on the 26th day of December. But remember family, if you want to come to the three lectures, you get a special price for the three lectures, only $50. And of course, all you have to do is contact us, priestisaacinstitute.com. That is the website. Email us, priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com. And remember, as I showed you, until the 2nd of January, which will be my Earth Day, anyone who purchases it purchases the International Homeschool Program for their children or for yourself. It's a welcome packed program, definitely something that you know, it's worth it, as I always say, something that you would be pleased with specifically for your children, especially if you want them to, you know, have more appreciation for the Afrocentricity. Definitely anyone who purchases that um, homeschool program will be getting a free, I mean, we will deliver this for you, eh? A free Tiger's Nest t-shirt, I'm telling you, but that is only until the 2nd of January, that is our Earth Day. At the end of the 2nd of January, that specifically will not be available anymore. All right, family, give thanks. And don't forget to check the Honorable Prophet Jadaniel for your chalices. You could come right to our website and, and make your order there. And he definitely will be in contact with you. All right, family, we definitely give thanks for your presence. Looking forward for you joining me in the uprising in the morning for Serengeti, Serengeti at 5.30 Eastern Caribbean time. Serengeti, it's your, 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 your uprising edition. Selassie, I first. Holy Emmanuel, I. Selassie, I. Ja. Rastafari. Blessed Lord, give thanks.